We have done reflection to the neck here to see the thymus condition. Here is the thymus. Now uh, to check the, uh, yeah, we are seeing here in the liver, in the liver we look at its size, its surface, fibrosis, sclerosis, gold brother extended or not, lipocytoside, we see here the heart, we see, you check the heart for pericardium, pericarditis, uh, for the pericardium, hydropericardium, or anything like that in regions in the heart. And you check with the DNA of the corresponding disease. You can remove it. Here, dorsally to the cloaca, you should search for uh, the person of Patricia to check the rosetta shape. We will do this in just a minute. In the field here, we can see that this is the vessel like stomach. We start to, do, to deattach it from its origin here. Why? as not to make contamination of the field with the feet that uh, it has already been eaten. This is the spleen. The spleen is very important when comparing its size to the birth of Patricius in younger ages. Uh, under 20 days, uh, the birth is bigger than the spleen. And from 20 or 30, like uh, from 20 to 30 or 28 days, they are both equal in size. And after 30 days, the bursa is atrophied normally and becomes smaller than the spleen. We compare it to the spleen as a compact organ. This is the intestine. For examining the intestine, this is here the kidney. The kidney uh, consists normally of three loops which are not supposed to be normally watched, but here we can watch, we can see them. Seeing them indicates nephritis. This is the ureter, normally not seen also. Seeing it, especially if precipitated in it, white color like this, indicates uh, nephritis due to drug administration or thermalolosis or mycotoxicosis also. Now in the intestine, this is the part we cut it, which is uh, the gizzard-like stomach. And this is the intestine. This is the duodenum. In between it, it contains the pancreas, the post. I can see it here, but this is uh, the U-shaped duodenum. This is the pancreas here. What we do now is checking the inside. See the opening. Starting with the short size. Then the blunt side and open. The inversion. No ulcers here. If there is ulcer, you'll see this part ulcerated, very swelled and uh, like a wound. Okay. The indication of the proven triculus, this part and the gizzard, uh, can appear clearly in Newcastle and the living influenza and in uh, uh, in the living influenza is diffuse, in the Newcastle it is here and in what is the third disease and in the Gamburu, in the Gamburu which is in the junction between the gizzard and the proven triculus while at the Newcastle, it's uh, at the tip of the proven tricus, tamam, as the IB is diffused. The sickening occurs as the real virus and chicken anemia, but the mucous membrane is paler, much paler than this. Now, we are 
are done with this work, checking the intestine. The main affection of the intestine is the cholesterol and coccygin, especially here in Egypt. Getting the opening and not just cutting it, just like this. Did you notice? Yeah, just like this. You just pull. And you check like this. You put it on any surface. And check to the inside. Here we can see slight hemorrhage. Not indication to anything, but enteritis maybe. We should open all the intestine to see its condition. Thickening of the intestine indicates cholesterol. Mainly here, mainly it's coccygeal, not cholesterol, but in the first stage. This color of the intestine is mm. very fusion. This is hemorrhage. The the red color. Mm. This color, even before opening the intestine here, indicates cholesterol. You will notice thinning of the intestine. Coccygeal and cholesterol infections mainly come together. Because they are both uh, due to um, uh, bad management. Staying of the intestine. It's like uh, you are, you can almost see my hand uh, from underneath the intestine. This is called staining of the intestine due to cholesterol. This part is called ileocecal tonsil. Because these are the two ceci, and this is the ileum. So the part which has immuno, uh, immunological action is called ileocecal tonsil. Here. This part is important. If you see ulceration in it, it indicates a Newcastle disease. Okay, you, you should open it when you are dissecting too. But here it, it's of no important because this uh, this chicken <laughs> has no signs of Newcastle. Newcastle is one of the diseases that you can do emergency vaccine in it by spraying. Normal. No illustration. We are done with the with the ureter here and the kidneys. Yeah. If we are looking to see the Okay, because we are running out of time now. This is the lung, here. Underneath my hand. To check the upper respiratory tract, you open the mouth like that. And use the scissors, the scissors. Now you have open the pharynx and this is the esophagus, the trachea, sorry, this is the trachea. You, you have seen, uh, maybe you have uh, heard, yes, hear the sound of the rims being cut. If you see here a cord of blood, it's ILT or infectious laryngeal 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 laryngeal. We have seen the tonsil. Uh, the thymus here, seven loops, 